Welcome back, this is Yama Jack. I just took a look at the video of last episode. It is about 7 gigabytes large, which is quite large. <laughs> I'm thankful that I have fast and unlimited internet. <laughs> I mean, you know, you just you think about the, the logistics of it here, right? I mean, each episode that I'm uploading to YouTube, like each of the files that I upload to YouTube, for each episode. It's about two to three gigabytes large, usually. Okay, there's 60 of them a month. Um, that's, we'll say, we'll say three gigs each on average. Maybe, yeah, about three gigs each on average. Um, 60 of those a month is about 180 gigs a month of video being uploaded. Plus all the KF2 extra stuff I'm doing, plus whatever YouTube streaming I'm doing, like, that's like hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of gigs of data being uh, being moved through my ISP every single month. And you know, I know people who have limits less than that 180 gigs. Like they wouldn't even be able to upload all the videos that I'm uploading, and that's kind of sad, you know. I know people with like 100, 100 gig limits, 150 gig limits, maybe even like 300 gig limits, and it's just like I couldn't, I couldn't even do this if I had that limit. Like this wouldn't be possible. I'd have to be, uh, I'd have to be recording in lower quality or rendering it in lower quality, and I'm not editing the videos in the first place. I'm just uploading them as is, so it's like a whole thing, right? And uh, people wouldn't be able to do that, and I wouldn't be, able, I, I wouldn't be able to. Uh, to put in that effort to make the, the videos the lower file size to compress them like that. I wouldn't be able to put in that effort. I'd have to make a, a Python script or something to do it for me, I suppose, but um, like I just, I just wouldn't do it. If, if these file sizes were unreasonable, I just I wouldn't be uploading videos. And so, uh, you know, to think that in some parts of the world, like Australia or something, like I wouldn't be able to even do this thing, which I love doing, is uh, sad. You know? It's very sad. And so I'm uh, very happy that I am not in that situation, that I do have unlimited internet at reasonable speeds. You get about 200 megabytes, or 200 megabit up and down. Which is, I mean, reasonable enough? I don't, you, you don't need more than that, ultimately. Is more than that nice? Yeah. Yeah, more than that is nice. You know, having like gigabit on internet is is nice, but honestly, past about like 50 megabit up and down, you're 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 getting into the territory of of some pretty pretty diminishing returns there. You know, you're not really noticing a huge improvement to your life past that point, right? Like if you're at a megabit up and a megabit down, and you're uploading these videos, you're gonna be sitting there for hours per video. And then uh, you're uploading these at 50 megabit, and it's down to, to minutes already, right? So you go to 200 megabit after that, and it's okay. It's slightly fewer minutes, but you're, you're not saving hours of your life at that point. You're saving minutes, right? The, the time that you measure it in goes down by, by an entire order of magnitude, right? <laughs> Um, not order of magnitude. There's there's a, a unit of measurement, a smaller unit of measurement that you have to use to measure the time that you save from going to faster internet, just because the file was already uploading at a reasonable speed. It is nice to have though, because those few minutes. I mean, it's it's still it's still nice, right? <coughs> Professional YouTuber. Um, but like, it's it's not it's not needed. So I don't feel too bad about not having gigabit is the moral of the story. I might get it someday. Uh, it, it is offered in my area. Gigabit internet, gigabit fiber. Parallel lines, you know, parallel. Is it parallel, synchronous? I don't know. They're the same speed up and down. One gigabit up and down is available to me here by Talos, the only ISP in the area that has internet that's even remotely usable for any practical application. You know, I get... Um, I get these shop people coming all the time. They have fantastic prices for for the for the speeds that they're advertising, right? And they're like, yeah, it's you know, Shaw fifty and it's thirty bucks or something. And I'm like, that's I'll I'll switch to that. 
And I'm like, wait a minute, is it is it a synchronous line or an asynchronous line? So they're like, oh, well, it's asynchronous. You know, it's 50 megabit down and half a megabit up. And I'm like, well, you know, can't really do that. <laughs> can't can't do that because you don't have fiber laid. And um, fiber makes it a lot easier to have the, uh, the synchronous um, uh, data stream thing, whatever. Um, so, you get to, uh, to kind of use Telus here. That's it. But they come and they, they offer it all the time, and I get so excited about it, because I'm like, oh, I could save a ton of money that way. And then it's just not even in the same realm of, of product, you know? It's just, it's completely different. And uh, it's, it stinks, because uh, th I mean, it means ultimately there's no competition here. Right? Like, there is no competition here. At all. Um, you have TELUS. That is, that is your internet provider. If you live here, and you care about your internet, more than just, you know, I read Facebook now and then, you know, if you care about your internet speeds at all, you're using TELUS. Okay, let me, well, let me clarify. If you care about your internet speeds at all, and you're at least, you have a, a modicum, is modicum the right word? You have, you know, at least a, a semblance of an education on how this stuff works. You're using Telus. There is, there is zero chance that you're not using Telus in that situation, right? Because it's they're the only people that have speeds that are decent. There is no other option. You don't, you don't get to go to Shaw or Rogers. I don't think Rogers is okay in the East Coast Canada, I think. But. Uh, West Coast Canada, they don't they don't provide any internet at all. I think it's a deal they have or something like that. When I was working at um, when I was working at uh, the source, which is owned by Bell, uh, which I think also provides internet, maybe or they provide TV or something. I don't know. Um, but we yeah, we got to learn about our competition, and I uh, I got to learn things that. I'm allowed to talk about, but that people who told me are probably not allowed to talk about. <laughs> uh, it wasn't in, it wasn't in the contract that I can't talk about it, okay? At least not with uh, with how I I done did heard about it. Anyway, uh, we got to talk, learn about. It. I don't even know if it's accurate. Is the other thing, right? So we got to talk about. We got to, to talking about it, and um, they uh, apparently Rogers doesn't sell internet in the west coast canada because they have like a monopoly in the east coast canada or something like that like, i don't know what the story is and i don't know how accurate it is but that's the story i was told and i don't believe it uh anyway they do sell internet in the east coast but not over here so over here you just got shaw and uh, tell us that's it and uh, shaw sucks and i'm assuming that over in the east coast if rogers has internet they probably also suck and uh the person i was talking to about it kind of doesn't know what they're talking about <laughs> is my guess because uh yeah, I don't know. The, the other thing is, is Telus seems to genuinely care um, about internet speeds and getting internet speeds to people. They clearly also care about getting money to their pockets, right? Like they clearly, there's there's clearly a a degree of of you know prioritizing money, but um, at the very least, you know they're continuing to to innovate um, regardless, which is uh, is nice. Because if, if you're going to have a Monopoly, I'd, I'd like you to be continuing to at least be the Monopoly that you are. You know, continue to be really good at it, <laughs> at least, please. Um, like, a lot of companies, they, uh, they're they a Monopoly on something, and then they just stagnate, right? Like, Telus could have stopped at 100 megabit up, 100 megabit down, and then had the market share and been fine. Um, instead, they're continuing to develop in new areas and... Um, do all that kind of stuff. So I'm like, you know what? Y'all are still ripping me off pretty nastily. <laughs> like I pay like 120 bucks a month for 200 up and down. It's it's a total rip off. But at the very least, I'm like, but I do get 200 up and down, and I can't do that elsewhere. And I could even upgrade. So yeah, you know, I can't. There's a limit to how much I can complain about it. I guess is what I'm saying. And 
I, uh, I appreciate that uh, at the very least, if nothing else, they uh, they continue to, to make internet speeds faster for uh, for us over here. Even if they also continue to make the prices higher, which is is particularly annoying. But hey, I get to upload my videos in not three days. You know, if I had slower internet, it would take me like genuinely days to upload all these videos. You know, if I had a, a megabit up, right? I'm just doing the math here. Megabit up. Uh, one megabit up per second and three gigs of video. I mean, that's three million megabits. 300 megabytes and there's one, like, eight megabytes to a bit or something like that, right? Yeah, eight megabytes to a bit. Eight, eight megabytes to a megabit, rather. Like, eight bytes to a bit. Um, so you're looking at just for a fair comparison here, that's like 24 megabits or gigabits. Um, and uh, I saw I saw a yeah you right here, uh, and that's so 24 million megabits at one megabit a second is 24 million seconds to upload this video, right? And that's uh, I don't know how many how like. So that is, I don't know, I don't know what, I don't know, I don't know how, how many seconds, like 30, 3,600 seconds in an hour, or something like that. Like it's, it's, it's taking all the time. My math, is, it feels wrong here, because something, something's clearly off here. Um, <laughs> there's something clearly off here, I'm just going to stop. I can't, I can't do this math when I'm also shooting Zeds. I've done something wrong, because I'm looking at it, and I'm like, okay, so, I mean, maybe it's not that wrong, because 3,600, about... I mean, okay, no, it's not going to take, like, seven days to upload a single video. That would be ridiculous. Um, but at a megabit a second, it would take a long time to upload a three gigabit, three, three gigabyte file. Or no, megabyte, duh, that's where I did it wrong. Megabyte to gigabyte is, is, uh, thousand to one. So it'd be, uh, 24,000 seconds, which is uh, eight hours or so, seven, seven and a half, something like that. There we go. Now I can math. See that? Once, once, once it's a little bit calmed down, all of a sudden it's all clear. I can see clearly now. The Zeds are gone. So it'd be, it'd be like uh, eight hours per video that gets uploaded, you know? You do like 14 videos. And, uh, hello. Knock me away from you, please. You do 14 videos and you got, oh, dear lord. Wait, I have, I have the HM Tech 501. That's right, that's right. We have, we have a backup. We can heal ourselves. The world isn't ending yet. Not yet. Not yet, anyway. Soon. COVID's gonna kill us all. Um, maybe like eight hours per video if I had that that one megabit up, you know. And that is uh, is a long time. Fourteen videos. I mean, it would take. I'd record the videos in a day, and they'd get uploaded like right before they're supposed to go live, almost. You know, like it would it would be several days of uploading it all. I mean, three videos a day at that point, right? You're looking at like four days, four and a half days of of just straight uploading videos. That's just, that's an astronomical amount of time. Far more time than I'd ever want to spend uploading videos. And uh, instead of it being, you know, like, a hundred hours of uploading, it's like half an hour of uploading, <laughs> right? Or not a hundred, yeah, about a hundred hours of uploading, but I go 200 times faster, so, you know, half an hour. And, uh... Yeah, it's just, I pay a lot of money for it, but at the very least, it lets me make content. I couldn't do this if it weren't for for that, right? Like, that's that's what's allowing it to happen, so. Feels good. But, hey. I don't even remember how we got onto this topic. King Fleshpan, you're going down real quick. We got explosives. Microphone is still working, that's fantastic. At this point, I'm expecting, since it's been about an hour of recording, 
I am expecting that we will be able to continue um, to record the rest of this day without doing anything. As long as I don't open anything else, I just record 14 episodes in a row straight here. Uh, I should be able to uh, to get by somewhat okay. See, this, the thing with this guy is that he uh, he runs real fast, so he gets real close to me, and then he explodes me, you know? Or I explode me. With my own explosions that hit him, and then also hurt me because I'm a big dumb. Because he just, he runs so fast. I have to let him hit me at, like a couple of times, and then, uh... Oh, he, if he got knocked off, that would have just been glorious, you know? So we are going to pop a nade here, just to get a little bit of health going on. How much damage does this do on an impact? On an impact, not on a miss, please. Not much. Not an awful lot. That looked like a headshot to me. Maybe it wasn't, but it looked like a headshot to me. This does quite a significant amount more damage, so... Oh, God. I was up above him. I didn't know he could just stop randomly and decide that he's gonna... Um, laser all of a sudden. I didn't know he could do that. I thought he had to uh, be walking for a bit. I need more health right now, please and thank you. Yeah, he's probably gonna laser again here, right? Yeah. Let's get another nade down. And another nade down. Can I pop this again? I don't think so. Not that it even hit him before, I don't think, right? Like, it definitely missed him, as far as I'm aware. We're gonna be below you anyway, it's fine. Not worried. I haven't even, it feels like I haven't even hit him in a while. Like, what's going on? Come on. Don't want to be above you when you laser. Cause that's always a bad place to be, you know? Thankfully, there's enough ammo crates on this loop that I'm doing that uh, I'll be able to just continue healing myself with these nades for pretty much ever. Which is... Ooh, not if I mess up royally like that. That was a royal mess up right there, my goodness. Yeet me through the nade gas, thank you very much. Oh, I didn't get the ammo crate, that's actually kind of possibly a bad thing. But we should still be fine. I'm expecting us to be fine. We do also have, of course, with all these nades, a few extra nades here to use for things such as that. Nice little pop, right? And then a nice little pop. That's how you do it. I haven't done Hell on Earth. Oh, I'm recording the wrong thing again. My bad. I haven't done Hell on Earth on Airship yet. That's uh, kind of incredible. Let's get some uh, some health going on here. Get that medic XP. I think I get medic XP from it, right? Do I? Heck yeah, I do. No, I don't. I got zero XP for healing teammates. Gosh dang it. Got survivalist XP, gunslinger XP, demo XP. Like, look at all this XP we're getting. Heck yeah. All right, well, that's going to do it for today. Thank you for watching. Remember to like the video if you like it. Subscribe to see more in the future. Comment if you have anything to say. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.